All right, so I thought I would do a quick video on this VIP software. Um, so this is the uh, Akai VIP 3.1 Pro. So problem is you load it in and it'll collect most of your plugins. And then you'll notice that you've got a bunch that don't have anything. Um, so what I've learned here is that in order to get this thing to import, you have to first uh, right click this button here the button sorry for the shake right click so that it's flashing then you have to select the instrument that you want to uh, basically get the plugin list from so here I will start with hive and you would click it you don't want to open it up here you want to actually open it up from the plugin button here now before you start doing this there's some settings so there's a little cog here you've got to basically go in and make sure you deselect uh, allow duplicate patches uh, otherwise you're gonna end up with a million of the same patch um, problem with this now is that whenever you want to get a patch in you basically have to start arrowing and once you do that it'll copy a patch now I don't know about you guys but I've got thousands of patches um, if I had to add up all my software, you know, with all the expansions and stuff I have, it's just too many. I'll be here for years clicking away because I just don't understand why they've made it this convoluted. Anyway, um, to fix that, I have Razor software. So basically, I created a macro. Um, it's just a mouse click, and I've got it set to toggle continuous playback. So if you can get yourself some macro software, you can do that. Um, or if you have like a, a mouse or a keyboard that's capable of a macro, the best thing to do is to use a macro. So basically, you know, what you would do is go into your first patch. Once you've selected it, you click it, it'll pop up. I've got this thing now so I can start toggling. So if I hit my macro and then just basically wait, this is it. So. Uh, it doesn't seem to really care how fast it's going because it's basically just reading through the uh, the patch list and generating the patches. Um, as for tags, I don't know if it's actually like importing all the tags. I noticed on one synth the tags look pretty good. Um, on another software the tags were really crappy. Um, definitely notice that it doesn't work on every VST. I think it has to do with the way they represent the, the file names. Um, I tested it with Dune 3 and Dune 2 and it worked fine. Hive, it seems to be working fine. Strobe 2, it worked fine. Um, but there's a handful of synths that I noticed it doesn't work with at all. So um, you can change patches from a thin VIP. You just can't get the patches to, to record into the VIP software. So, so anyway, that's basically it. Um, so if you're going to do the import, remember, right-click this button here and select Auto Import. Then go to Instrument, select the default go to plugin and then just start arrowing through your list that's basically it and then it'll just start populating all right cheers